Hello mortals. Have you ever had those moments, when you lay awake in bed at 3 in the morning, being tired as crap, and knowing that the next day, you will feel just like that? Even then, you cannot help but just think about philosophical questions, like can we experience anything objectively? What caused the universe to appear? Why it had to appear in the first place? Or, who the hell dislikes my videos? While I can't answer the latter one, I'll try my best to explain what is the cause to everything around us. The answer is God. Choose one. Also, choose carefully, if it's the wrong one you'll be punished for eternity. But what was God doing before it created the universe? Creating hell for people like you for asking this question. Think about this, less than 100 years ago. The smartest people on earth thought that the Milky Way is just a candy bar, and that it existed and will exist forever. A bit later, these smart people discovered that there are billions upon billions of candy bars other than the Milky Way, and that around 13.8 billion years ago there was a sudden expansion of the universe from an infinitely small singularity for no apparent reason, which created everything, called the Big Ben. One thing that we haven't yet had the answer for is why it happened in the first place. Okay, now, imagine empty space, with nothing in it. What do you see? Hopefully nothing, otherwise I have bad news for you. Now take a microscope and zoom in the empty space. More. Even more. Just zoom and I'll tell you when to stop. Two thousand years later. Here. As you can see, on the quantum level, the empty space is not so empty. There are constantly quantum fluctuations happening all over the place, virtual particles appearing and disappearing almost immediately, everywhere. Oh, why virtual? Because they borrow some energy from the vacuum, chill out a bit, return the energy and then disappear. And guess what, just like the virtual particles, bubbles of space-time can do the same. However, there is hell of a difference between a single virtual particle, appearing by itself, and a whole universe with hundreds of galaxies. That couldn't just spontaneously appear, right? That has a really, really low probability of happening, but if something in quantum physics has even the slightest chance of happening, it will, happen. Nevertheless, Shouldn't the universe just cease out of existence? As soon as it appeared, just like a virtual particle? Yes. It should. Only if it were a closed or an open universe. In reality, our universe is flat. And no, that doesn't mean that the Earth is flat. Because of some fancy math, a flat universe is allowed to survive and expand beyond the point of re-collapsing. Most universes just appear and almost immediately disappear. Seems like we are a bit too lucky to be born in this perfect universe, in a perfect solar system, on a perfect planet, aren't we? Well if we were not born in this perfect place, we wouldn't be alive and able to ask this question in the first place. This is called the anthropic principle. The only remaining question is, doesn't the universe, with all its mass and energy, violate the Pythagorean theorem, which states that energy cannot be created, nor destroyed. Doesn't that contradict to the fact that a freaking universe appeared from literally nothing? You see, all of the positive energy and form of matter is exactly equal to the negative energy and form of gravitational force created by that mass. What does that mean? Everything around us, the whole universe's energy, adds up to exactly zero. Nothing just from where it began. To add it up, the universe is just a more complicated form of nothing. Just like you, or me, although I'm a bit more complicated form of nothing than you.